So go check it out, I guess. Go check out what the, everyone's been told. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's out there, but parents are like, we need to know what you've been told. Right. Because a lot of the criteria of what he said, you know, the testing needs to be there and the tracing needs to be there and then the facilities need to be there. Not every school has the money to do it. I think the Blue Bloods do. I, don't, don't you think Clemson and Alabama oh, yeah. could probably scrounge the cash together to figure out how to test people? They could take it out of Dabo's check. But again, <laughs> exactly. the number of people who might not be social distancing when they can. I understand sometimes you got to go to work. To make ends meet, yeah. Your my nephew just went to school up in upstate New York. I get York. it. I get it. I totally understand crazy. it. And I hope that if you're not feeling well, you don't go to work. But sometimes you got to put yourself out there and risk it. I get it. I totally understand it. People out there, I don't. I don't want to wear a mask. I can't breathe in the mask. Clint Frazier, damn near hit for the cycle wearing a mask the other day. By the way, so if you want college football. Do the hard work, which isn't so hard to put a piece of cloth over your face and be social distant and do whatever you can do in your daily life and your family and do it. But if you're not doing that and you're willfully not doing that and you're saying, I want Alabama versus LSU, well, you didn't do the work. And the whole country's got to do the work together to get that. It's a functioning society. Sports is college sports in particular, is sure. is the result of a functioning society, a healthy functioning society. Because college sports, you know, and, you know, maybe we'll have Billis on next week because a lot of this also had to do with players basically saying, uh, we're going to band together and figure this <laughs> thing out about what we want out of the protocols. And all right. of a sudden it's like, well, hey, I think the protocols are not good enough. And so we're done. A lot of folks out there thinking nipping the unionizing of players in the bud is part of the reason why two conferences decided to not wait like other ones to see if circumstances on the ground change enough to provide the testing and contact tracing and the social distancing and the health care that Dr. Hainlein said needs to be met. I'm glad he said it was a fair question what I said at the, at the very end there, which is like, Hey, there's no national strategy in the United States, but there's no national strategy in the NCAA. And he just explained why they decided to do it on a conference by conference basis. I think the answer is also is that, you know, the sec is going to come play come, you know, water, high water, but we'll see. Greg Sankey came on the other day. You know, he was one of our last guests in June commissioner of the sec saying, we're going to monitor this and, they're on it every day. And they're announcing their schedule tonight. I just want them to be healthy because I'll tell you what, you know, if 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 I think they're healthy, I am uh, all over Alabama and LSU. Um, I'd, I'd love it. But if you ask me right now, I think Trevor Lawrence has played his last down at Clemson. I think Justin Fields has played his last down at the Ohio State. And any kid that is worth his National Football League salt has played their last down for their school. Even if their teams play this year, why oh. would they play? Well, I mean, why would they play? Because that's what they do. They want to play, and they love to play. Uh, I, I just don't think they're going to end up playing. I think the same issues that the Big Ten saw and the Pac-12 saw, I don't think anything's going to appreciably change in the manner in which Dr. Hainline said it needs to be changed for these conferences to say yes.